In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this grip for my mirrorless camera. The grip attaches using this tripod screw, which also has a tripod thread on the bottom, so I can still attach it to a selfie stick or a tripod. This grip fits my Canon EOS M6 Mark II, but the techniques in this video can apply to just about any kind of camera. Inside the grip, I have a hidden SD card and a hidden air tag. And having the hidden air tag was the major design consideration for building the grip, as well as the grip just being so tiny on my camera, it's awkward to hold. So I just wanted a grip that was comfortable to hold all day. This grip is also a lot lighter and cheaper than the grip that is made specifically for this camera. I use less than a dollar's worth of filament for this grip, and it's custom made to fit my hand exactly. I tried to make the grip as large as possible without blocking the charging cable port on the camera. I started this project by taking a picture of the bottom of my camera, and I have some graph paper here that's a, on a one inch grid, and I can import that and make that the background image in Fusion 360. There's a calibration feature that lets you pick two points, and here I'm picking two points that should be three inches apart. And this tells Fusion 360 that this number of pixels in the background image is three inches scaled in the drawing. Now that I have the scaling correct in the drawing, I can draw a bunch of polylines around the outline of the camera, and I can also draw some polylines to define the size and shape of the grip. So here I can extrude the sketch of the camera body down to create the thickness of the base, and I can extrude the grip up to create the height of the handle. I can extrude the grip down to match the base, and I can extrude the camera body outline up, and this will be a cut operation instead of a join, and this is going to create the pocket where the camera will fit into the grip. I added the pockets for the SD card and the AirTag, and a hole for the tripod mount. Around the tripod mount, I have six smaller holes, and when this is 3D printed, there'll be a wall around each of those holes, and that should provide more reinforcement material compared to the infill that would normally be printed there. I exported my solid model as a step file and imported it into Bamboo Studio. I'm gonna set the wall thickness to two layers, and let's see how it looks. The area I'm most concerned about is the area around the tripod hole. Here it is with two layers and here it is with four layers. Obviously four layers is stronger than two, but the entire part will be printed with four layers, and I didn't want to do that. I'm using the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini, and I'm really impressed with the speed and quality of the prints. It's quite a machine for $200. Since I have some parts that overhang in my design, Bamboo Studio adds these scaffolds to help support the material as it's printed. They just pluck out with a little pick, the AirTag and SD card fit perfectly. The grip weighs in at 64 grams with everything included. The 3D printed material is kind of slippery, so I'm using this dragon skin. It's kind of a rubberized uh, grip that is a peel and stick. The sliding cutter makes it really easy to make small straight cuts, and I use this little corner clipper to give the corners a five millimeter radius. That makes it less likely to peel and just makes it look a little nicer. The grip really does make a huge difference in feel. So I'm just applying the fingertip grip. And I have a larger piece that goes all the way around the handle. I think it matches pretty well with the texture and look of the grip that's already on the camera. It took a couple of iterations to get the grip to fit exactly right, but it fits perfectly now. I made the tripod screw flush with the bottom so that the camera can sit flat on a table without rocking. And if I want to add a selfie stick quickly, I don't have to remove the base first. The concave part of the grip where my fingertips go is really comfortable. It's like a little hook that fits my fingertips perfectly. This is the first project I've designed and printed on my 3D printer, and it's the first time I've used Fusion 360. I'm really impressed with how simple the printer was to use. I'm a bit of a noob to 3D printing, but hopefully this video gave you some techniques to try. Thanks for watching.